Anyway, with regards to McMill's video, now, a lot of critics have been divided. People think that it's good. While a section thinks that, no, McMill didn't do well with the, with the music video. Um, as an entertainment pundit and an entertainment critic, from your point of view, from the entertainment point of view, um, what do you have to say about McMill's video? All right, so um, I think music carries weight and music is very powerful. We know what music can actually do. So when somebody takes a, a music video from a place like the Flagstaff House or others who say Jubilee House, if somebody takes a visual from there and adds words to the visual and they do not correlate, then there's a problem because that's the seat of government. That's where the president lives. Do you get it? That's where everything goes on. So when you have lyrics that accompany visuals from that end and they do not tally, then there's a problem. Do you get it? Beside that, I mean, I think nobody has really had a problem with McMill for filming from there. The challenge has been with the fact that we are told that place a security zone where filming and all those things are not allowed. So when it happens that you find a foreigner who apparently says he's 18% Ghanaian, goes in there, has access to be able to film and even fly a drone at a security point, then then that, that's where the problem is. Well, people believe that where um, he filmed the video are places that are open to the public. So I just don't see anything wrong with that because that pl places where he filmed the video are open to the public. Yes, of course. But then these same places are not open to the Ghanaian citizen. You can't just go there and film anything from there. You don't have access to it. Do you know that you can't even stand right in front of the uh, Jubilee, uh, Jubilee house and take a picture? The security that will confiscate your phone or whatever it is. So how much more even fly a drone? That's, that's even a major problem. Do you get it? Yes, of course. When the president's addressing the nation, we see all those views and all that. Yes, so those views are there already. But then to have an individual come in, then the Ghanaian citizen or the creative feels, how come someone else has access to it? Something that a typical Ghanaian would not even have access to. Does it mean that that, that reinforces the fact that we always say that we respect the foreigner more than we do respect the Ghanaian? That's where the problem is. If you want to open that place to everybody, then fine. But if you want to open it to only foreigners and restrict your own citizens, then there's a problem. The challenge has been that somebody must take responsibility. Unfortunately, nobody has been able to take responsibility yet. But let's not forget, I mean, we can point it out clearly. When Mick met the president, the president stated clearly that the daughter insisted that Mick knew him. And he's excited that Mick was able to meet him. So that means, obviously, somebody took Mick Mill to the Jubilee House. And because it had to be the daughter, obviously, there were a lot of breaches. There were a lot of things that were not really, or should I say, some security were losing for them to have access to places where they could fail. Imagine wearing all those, those white t-shirts. Do you think you can go to the Jubilee House with white t-shirts, chains, sneakers, and all that? Well, I, I was coming to that because people also believe that the reason why McMill is uh, receiving this um, bash is that uh, because of how he dressed. People believe how he dressed wasn't appropriate, and he should be. When if people believe that if he he was in suit and um, his choice of music was maybe gospel or anything, people <laughs> wouldn't have um, backed him very much. But because of how he dressed and his choice of music, that's why I think these, these things are going on. I mean, there are, there are differences too. Let's not forget that he's coming from a different culture. But irrespective of the culture, we do understand that. I mean, you can't just dress anyhow to go meet a president. I doubt you would have worn that particular outfit to go meet um, the president, uh, Biden, or Biden. You, you wouldn't. Do you get it? But then again, that's why I'm saying there's a problem. And the fact that certain breaches were made or certain things where security apparatus were loosened because the president says, listen, my daughter insisted. So maybe at the point when they had to move Mick and the team to the Jubilee House, that was what they were in. So since the president's daughter insisted, then they couldn't maybe go change and dress up and all that. That's how they were able to make it there. So the insistence caused some of these things as to what he was wearing, what they appeared in. And the very moment they had the opportunity to be there. I mean, let's ask ourselves. Imagine you get to the Ghibli house and you fly a drone. So do you think that nobody saw, nobody questioned anything or everybody was okay with it? Do you get it? The challenge is that somebody must own up. If we say that that place is a security zone, and it's not just about we saying it, that's where the president lives. Do you get it? That's the gentleman, the first gentleman of the land. I think it's about time we paid attention to who has access to meet the president, especially when it has to do with foreigners coming in, or yes, we say a year of return, but people having access to the Jubilee House and all that. We just need to pay attention to some of these things. If anything had happened, 
what will happen? At the end of the day, the whole country will be in a mess because something happened at the Jubilee House. So we just need to pay attention, irrespective. It's not just about McMill, but whoever has access to the president, some of these things need to be checked. Let's not loosen ends because it has to do with the president's daughter or it has to do with somebody closer to the president. No. If you want to access the place, what are the protocols? Let's all follow it and let everybody be cool with that. Okay. So let's move away from McMill's incident. Now